since I've been here. How about that? Beautiful. Pretty good going, eh? What did you see? I actually, I think I was really impressed with the coral, the colours of the coral. And secondly, then, when we went with the fish, I just felt like I was one of them. I was one big fish floating around. I loved it. The colour and everything was fantastic. I didn't see you in my That's great. Marine life. Thank you. You interview. Last night, when we went um, bird watching, you got whacked in the face by a sheer water. Well, after we got back, we went down to Ned's Beach and we were looking, photographing the flesh footed um, sheer waters. And I'd just taken the last photo, and Lynn and I stepped back on the road, had to turn, come back to um, Somerset, and one hit me fair on the cheekbone <laughs> there. I was more worried about the glasses getting broken than anything <laughs> else. But they pack a punch. Is that your best birding experience whilst on Lord Howe? Was oh, there... no, it's not my best. The best is Ball's Pyramid. Ball's Pyramid? Yes. That was the highlight? Yes, most definitely. Okay, and because they're, because of the rare birds or which bird oh, took your fancy? Oh, because you get the opportunity to see them flying and, and especially the Kermadec uh, petrel and mm. the storm petrel. I'm, uh... Okay, so, yes, thank you. No, was... So what has been the highlight of the trip for you, Kathleen? Ah, now I think seeing the wood hen on on that walk that we did to Buttonbird Point. That was wonderful, seeing the wood hen. Ah. In the wild, an untagged one. Oh. <laughs> untagged is definitely good. And the best uh, food for you? Ooh, is that an issue? Probably the pizzas. <laughs> the pieces were the best. Okay. Okay, Bossy Ian's telling us what we have to go, so bye. <laughs>
No, we might cut there, seeing as it's getting bossy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>